Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to take that birthday or hostess gift of a bottle of wine or liquor or beer to the next level by adding some permanent vinyl. And the first step is removing that pesky label so you have a nice clean canvas to work with. Um, how I often take off the label is I use a hairdryer to heat up the label, um, get it get the stickiness hot so I can peel it back and then use Goo Gone to get the rest off. Just make sure whatever alcohol is in your bottle can withstand um, you know, the heat of the hair dryer. And I get a rag and I put it on the rag because Gugon has quite a smell to it, which you can wipe off of the bottle portion when you're done. But if it gets in the other labels that you're planning on keeping on, then it'll ruin those. So you want to make sure that you just keep it to the bottle and that it doesn't seep over into the labels. So after you wipe it with water, just go back and look and make sure there that it's all off. Okay, once you're satisfied that all the stickiness is off, you don't see or feel anymore, and you've rinsed it with a wet cloth and wiped it dry, we're going to do one last thing. We are going to then rub it with rubbing alcohol just to get off all the oils and everything so the vinyl sticks to the surface. Okay, and we'll let that dry. And while that's drying, we will come over and get our design ready to cut out. Okay, open up Cricut Design Space and you can do a couple different things to get your decal that you want to put on. You can design it yourself in Cricut Design Space using either just the text function or pulling in some images if you have Cricut access. You can purchase something on a site like Etsy and pull it in or I designed mine in Adobe Illustrator. I also used to use Inkscape which is a free one and you can design your SVG out there and pull it in. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna upload my image. I'm gonna browse, and here's my file. And make sure you pull in the SVG version, and you should just see this cut image. You shouldn't see anything over here giving you the ability to print and cut. So it's the SVG. I'm going to go ahead and upload that and add it to my canvas. And the way this file is set up is it comes with numbers 0 through 9, so you can switch out this year and make it whichever year um, you're making someone a gift for. So it's all grouped together, so it stays in position. So if you come over here and you hit ungroup, it'll release the numbers from the design. And if you want to use some numbers from below, go ahead and ungroup that. That releases those. And then come up to the design and once again ungroup that. And if I, let's say I want to switch out, I'm making this for somebody that was born in 1961. Just go ahead and put in the new numbers that you want. But in this case, I'm actually going to stick to 1971. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and make sure you delete off the numbers that you're not going to use. We don't want to waste any vinyl cutting those out by accident. So we're going to go ahead and measure. We want to measure the area so we know how big to make our design. And it's usually small, so you have to make sure that your design isn't too complicated. 
so you can fit it all on. So right now I'm probably looking at, probably my width is my limiting factor. Right here is two and a half. So I'm probably looking at even a little less than two and a half if I want to be able to see the design. So probably like two and a quarter wide. So my width, let's see what it looks like at 2.25. Okay. So that's the size I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and make it. Aha, but if you see here, it's not in the right format because I forgot to grab it and attach it to the, attach is like you're attaching it to the mat. It's not gonna go anywhere. So now if I go back to make it, there we go. It's all in the right format and it'll cut out exactly the way I want it to go onto the bottle. I'm going to use Cricut Premium Vinyl Textured Metallic just to give it a little interesting texture when I put it on. So I'm going to go ahead and find the setting for that. So turn it to custom, browse all materials, and then type in Premium Vinyl, and here's a textured metallic. So that is what my setting will be on my Cricut. Okay, we're going to take our clean nicely clean and dried bottle. We're going to take the decal that we made. Pull it off the backing. Line it up. Now if this were any more curved, so if you were doing a bottle that had a little more curve to it, you can always cut around the outside and that will help your vinyl lay flat when you're doing this. I don't really need to do this. I think my bottle is pretty flat and my design um, follows it pretty well. But just in case you're working with something a little bit different. So I just want to get that lined up. Make sure it looks straight. And then I always work from the inside and push out. Push it down. And then since this is extra sticky transfer tape, I just need to make sure I don't pull any of my lettering up with it. And if you cut it, it's going to come up in pieces, which is totally fine, because then at least you know you have a nice smooth application with no air bubbles. <laughs> 